On this episode of NSFW, we begin the holiday season with Colleen Kelly. Yes, our old friend is back. We do some holiday problem solvers. We play What Are You Watching, Colleen, and we have a gift guide that will rival any you'll ever read. Ladies and gentlemen, it all explodes from your computer or iPhone or iPod or Zune on NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 52 for November 30th, 2010. Pills, 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 pills! This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com, sign up for your free, no risk, two week free trial. Make sure to use promo code NSFW to keep our little boat a rockin'. And by a rockin', I mean in business and employed. It is this. This was one that was selected by the chat realm. To psycho switch lanes reckless Swerve right jump don't miss your exit Driving up hill pan up quickly Panning down you have arrived at Flynn With your mirror focus Enter turn on flashlight Switch box flip it games don't turn on Stop you walking tilt up pan down Ignore the other arcade games Towards the only one that matters Strong blue light look at a quarter Insert quarter gets rejected Pick it up don't wait your quarter. quarter look at the arcade game touch it try rotating, rotating. Cut. wipe the dust off of a touch screen oh sh turn around something's rising lens lights up light grows to blinding cut Megatron gateway floating downward People look small Lightning fade out Laser tag Wait, that's a spaceship Looking down Things are rotating Light cycle speeds fast Going through a building Fade to a hot chick On a bench Look left Tiny handheld Stargate rack focus Elevating bad guys Wide shot bad guys Step on the light floor Throw deflecting Some chick bounces Creepy guitar Light car feels out Frisbee jet packs Walking Walking, walking, walking hard. Jump, Roger! Jump, so flight, come out of nowhere, spin randomly, then they spell. Yes! And that means it's go time for the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Weber Nets is none other than NSFW. Uh, I'm your little host, Brian Brush, but joined as always by my inimitable co host, the enumerated. Justin Robert Rubles the first. How are you, sir? I could not be more excited for this episode, Brian. If Why? somebody put a spark plug of excitement right in my spine and turned it seven times. And and why do you say that? That's because everything went according to plan, right? Like we carefully planned out tonight and everything's going exactly to the plan that we have selected, correct? That's Meticulously, why. Meticulously, Brian. Like like uh people setting up a million dollar Christmas light said the day after Halloween, we planned this episode to the last detail. The last bulb has been screwed in, which is why our, our, our guest didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Justin? Are you trying to say that we thought we had a guest book, but then we didn't have a book because we were not professional enough to make sure that we actually sent an email to verify that we had the guest booked? Apparently, when you book on Twitter, Twitter books don't count. <laughs> Twitter books are, it's like uh, no back seas. It's like no back touch. It's like, exactly. you know, it's, it's playground rules. We, we thought we booked somebody, but you want to know what? The lovely Sarah Lane will be on this show uh, another time. I'm sure she is doing something very, very important. Way more uh, awesome than what's going to go on uh, on this show. But the person who has joined us to make sure this episode is the absolute best it, it can be is somebody for which... We would not have a show, right, Brian? Absolutely. Without a doubt, people ask, how the hell did you scam your way into a show on Leo Laporte's prestigious Twit Network? And the answer is one answer right here. It's Miss Twit Colleen herself, Colleen Kelly, now of Google. How are you, Colleen? I'm quite good. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for it. You said that you had a hot date. 
planned for tonight. Oh, yes, I yeah. did. You did. You did. And then you had to walk away from uh, that, that. Whoa, hold on, 20, lady. 48 port. How many ports are in that? A 48 port. It's an HP Pro Curve managed switch. 48 Pro curvature, like totally hot curves uh, on that switch, for sure. She's <laughs> now licking seductively. <laughs> Who said we didn't have coverage of the Victoria's Secret fashion show here on Twit? No. This, <laughs> this is sex right here. It sells. <laughs> and normally, whenever whenever we have sex on the show, it's this kind of thing. It's these photoshops that uh, fans of the show send in of you and me looking hot and bothered. All right, what do we have to today, Mr. Just Robert Rubles? Brian, we have a lot of awesome things to do that definitely didn't once include the either likeness or name of Sarah Lane. Yes. Uh, I can assure you that we're going to go and uh, listen, this time we need, we have a lot of things that are happening in people's lives, family coming in, out, travel, holiday problem solvers, Brian. We're bringing back problem solvers with a little Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa dusting on top of it to make sure people's <laughs> lives get lived right. We're also going to play a game of what are you watching, Sa Colleen? We're going to be uh, showing Colleen Kelly some videos that just don't play audio because we are an audio and video podcast and she is going to explain what the heck's going on on that screen so the blindies get a little experience for themselves. Thank and then finally, goodness. Uh, sorry, Brian? No, I said thank goodness. Keep going. So finally, we are going to make sure that you have the best holly or holiday shopping options by going over the worst items on Amazon.com and giving them a little PR chat realm once over. Once we uh, do the Better Nets guide to holiday gifts and chat realm, Gussie's up their comments, and maybe we think of a silver lining that could send them into the stress. All right, so let's start up with item number one. We're going to do hol holiday problem solvers. Now, some people may think that this picture that we're about to show looks something like someone who isn't Colleen. I assure you that's a total mistake. Colleen, I don't know if you remember the last time we did this together with definitely you and not some <laughs> other person, but the way the, go the way it goes is people got problems. They send us their problems. We're going to call them. We're going to fix their problems. Now, as we all know, the formula to success is you got to have three aspects. First of all, one of us has to restate their problem. Someone else has to give some advice. And the third person needs to give a witty rejoinder to tie things up with a nice ribbon. And then we are out with that problem totally solved. You with us so far, Colleen? Yeah, it makes sense. All right, so which role do you want to be played by which character in this silly cast that you're looking at right now? <sighs> um, the second one. All right, so you, so want, the you, 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 you want to give the, the advice. Problem. You want to solve the problem. Yes. All right, so first of all, you want to, you want to set us up this uh, – what, what do you want to do? You, you want to do the witty rejoinder or you want to do the summary? Uh, you want to know what? I'll, 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 uh, I'll take the summary. You do you, – you're going to be in the Mark Twain spot there. Pulling well, up the thank rig. goodness that's not a high-pressure role that I'm very likely to screw up at the last minute and look like a dumbass. Thank goodness. Unless you want to me. save that pressure for the last one. Nope, go for it. That's all you. Our first – Holiday problem, Bri. Comes from one of our regulars, a chat realm legend, Giggle Loop. She writes, Here's my holiday problem. I really can't stand Christmas music at all. Sure, there are like five hymns from my youth that I enjoy, but 99.9% .9 of Christmas music sucks. I'm staring down the barrel of a stolid month of listening to 24-7 nonstop, no, where, no matter where I go, Christmas music. And when I mention to anybody, they're all like, Scrooge, bah humbug, you hate Christmas, blasphemer, you're racist. <laughs> Did you Help! Say that? How can I make it through yet another holiday season without going stark raving mad? All right, you ready for you ready to give her a call? We're gonna give her a call and fix her problem. You ready to go, Colleen? Okay. All right, so we got her number. We're punching it in right now, and we should be calling her at this very, very second. Here we go. Wait for wait for the go time. It'll be Justin, and then you, and then me. And Waiting, continuing to wait. <laughs> and this is all gold, Tony. Leave this in. <laughs> this is gold. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hey, you've reached the phone with Curtis Lowell, but I am not here. Oh, what? Oh, by the what? way, uh, that's the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Hell? <laughs> Don't worry, uh, this is gold. <laughs> Did you did you really put the part of the rock over there? So I actually I actually did. Uh, I, I I I had a little uh I had a little problem. Hold on, let me. All right. Well, thank goodness. So I actually no, I actually have it right here. Hold on, let me replace it. All right, Colleen. Tony, just, no, this is fantastic. Uh, Colleen, just so you know, the way it goes is that the moment that the phone answers, Go. 
we're going to play uh, this little ditty right here, which is definitely a picture of you and not somebody else. Problem solver. And then Justin will go, and then we're all we're all in the mix after that. So I am right I look hot now. with that blonde hair. You did what? <laughs> yeah. I look hot with that blonde hair. Hey, uh, it's a good look. Justin, I don't know if if <laughs> right now I'm looking at the phone. Whoa, the phone you just, number... it changed back. Yeah, I was about to say, that's definitely the phone number that, that was for the problem below it. Okay, now. Okay, there we go. There's the number, and now I'm saving it, and now I'm pasting it, and now we're going to call this person. Here we go. We're going to solve some holiday problems. As soon as they answer. Waiting for the answer. Waiting for that answer. Here we go. And cue the answer. Any second. And Hello. Problem solvers. Gigaloop, you think carols are crap? It's true. So uh, what you need to do is get some headphones that are sealed and uh, listen to Swedish death metal while you walk around outside of your home. And when you're in your home, uh, don't turn on the television. So you heard it here first. Act like a Grinch and be a bitch. <laughs> Problem solved. There we go. <laughs> and that's, see, that's how we <laughs> solved the problem. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of fudged a little rhyming Grinch with bitch. It was the best I could come up with on the stuff. <laughs> I love, I love your, 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 your witty rejoinder, Brian, because just having worked with you for long enough, I knew that like the check down in your brain was like, all right, can I be clever? Here, 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 here. No, just say bitch. Like just, like, just get out. Just say bitch. Well, no, I was looking for rhyming. I like, I like my rejo my witty rejoinders to be rhyming. Is what it really boils down to. But that's one well, problem in the bank. Loop is a real bitch. How the bitch stole Christmas. How the bitch stole Christmas. Someone's pointing out that um, Norwegian death metal owns Swedish death metal, and the fact of the matter is they're right. And I just, I could, I cracked under the pressure. That's all right. No, that's fine. Look, everyone knows that the Swedes and the Nords, they all get along. Did I say the Nords? Do they call you themselves did. Nords? You did. The Nords and the Benches are uh, <laughs> really the Nords are like the Aryan about, Brotherhood right? gang and uh Did in, you just uh, call them the Aryan show. Brotherhood gang? All right. No, well. no, there there's a show where um what is it? Uh Sons of Anarchy. Oh, dude, I have not and watched Sons of Anarchy. I I heard that is a show I absolutely have to have to watch. You should watch it. All right. Well, the reason for except the for all the ones where they claim to be in Ireland and it's like Southern California except they put a green filter over everything. Do they really? <laughs> absolutely everything like the people in the buildings and it's terrible it's all matrixy looking all right look yeah. let's fix some more problems second problem now this what is this the number that i accidentally called earlier justin are we gonna call it and get an answer machine it again? is uh so uh hopefully they were watching the show and they're like well they could this could be them because i'm watching the show they were calling right. giggle right. they were right. not calling no, me no, okay good good hopefully that's what's going on so we're just gonna say curtis please go to the courtesy phone <laughs> and just pick it up Right. Uh, Curtis writes, So on Christmas Day, my brother is coming to visit, but also to fix my dad's computer because my dad thinks there's a virus on it. The problem I need solved is how I tell my dad that I downloaded, let's say, adult material. Tranny porn. On the computer, and most likely, that's what's infected his computer. I see. All right, so you want, you want to do the same setup, or you want to switch our roles up here? I will. I will go to the uh, the the witty rejoinder unless uh, unless Colleen would like to try her hand at it. Colleen, um, what, what role would you like? Uh, I will do the introduction. All right, you'll do the introduction. Witty so rejoinder. So I say um, you downloaded porn on your dad's computer and he got a virus and now and then you go right. Yep. yep there we yep. go. But, That's but, exactly. Oh man, that means I have to decide how to. You fix have to his... solve the problem. Um. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. You See, ready? That's the hardest job. I didn't realize when I did it that I was. No, actually giving advice, it turns out, kind of hard. Kind of yeah. hard. Dr. No, you, do, you did great, though. I think it's not only did you... Uh... Wow, that definitely, definitely says for rectal <laughs> use only. And uh, and so... I ordered a 1,000 of those stickers, and uh, I put them on everything. And this now my we are live hand. with the show. We're calling Curtis. Hope it, hope it happens. Here we go. Hello? Mm. Hey, Curtis. I hear you down on the <laughs> Problem solvers. So uh, you downloaded training porn on your dad's computer, and now he's got a virus. Uh, the answer is, first of all, deny till you die. That's how it rolls. 
Hey, don't get tagged on the fact that you downloaded screw vids and now the computer is poop it. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Problem solved. <laughs> Aha! Aha! The Witty Sorry. Rejoinder is harder than you think! I thought you were gonna tell him to admit it! I had a whole thing about uh, him, you know, like not letting screw bits get in the way of your two bits. And, you and know, then screw up the courage. You did, I said deny till you die, which also rhymed. I was still rhyming with my deny till you die. <laughs> it's harder and than that, you think. And then I figured that if you got away with binge, I can get away with poopins. <laughs> <laughs> the chat room is already calling you full of poopids, all right? <laughs> and then I just went way too soon. I, I can't hold it in. No, that, that's my fault because I decided to, like, take a drink in the middle of calling him for some reason. Look, this last one, we're feeling yeah, the sound. We, we actually have uh, Brian. I'm actually going to gonna roll right back, and uh, we have an audio clip of you uh, about to play the uh, the clip here. Oh, no kidding. Oh, no. you scared me, right? <laughs> no, there we you go. scared me, right? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Uh, our last... Holiday Problem Solvers is from Pete This is our Fitz. last chance to get it right. This is our last yeah. chance to not suck. Not that yeah. we sucked, but we kind of sucked. All right, here we go. Pete Fick writes, I just found out that my wisdom teeth need to be pulled out, and the only open appointment at the oral surgeon is three days before Christmas. That means all day on Christmas, I'm going to have to talk to all the relatives for hours on end and be polite while being in total tooth agony and most likely strung out on painkillers. What should I do to make this Christmas less awful then it looks like it's going to be. Okay, so I say to mix things up, I will go ahead and do the summation. You give the advice, Justin, and we'll leave it to Colleen to wrap things up with a nice little bow. Sound good to you, Colleen? Uh, yeah, what am I wrapping up with? I'm like, and that's it. Thanks for calling. Well, or, no, what, yeah, but you got to – preferably it should rhyme. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you were obsessed huh. with the rhyming. I love the rhyming rejoinders. I'm not going to lie. That's how the pros do it. That's how I do it. That's how we roll. We're calling Pete Fick right now. Okay. I'm screwed. <laughs> sure we don't want to go with what we're going to say, so at least she has time to prepare. Nope. Hello? <laughs> Problem solver. So, I understand you're a big fat wiener who can't handle the pain of a few teeth being yanked out. You want to ruin everyone's Christmas as a result. Pills! 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 Grind them up in your food, put them in your drink, throw them at your sister. It's a fun time! Make it snow with pills! I'm so lost. <laughs> you, got, you got to wrap things up. You got. Uh, I can't come up with something that rhymes. Take Eat pills. Eat them pills, count goodbye. them bills. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Colleen, wrap it up. We got to wrap this up. Take pills, get your thrills. Problem solved. <laughs> there we go. See, that was perfect. That last episode that was perfect. We nailed that it. That was great. That was we great. Also, it. in the chat room, uh, the wob we would have accepted. Now that you're a druggie, cuddle in a snuggie. <laughs> I also like from the chat room. They said, "Get high." Bye. <laughs> any of those? Any of those could work. Okay, look, look, we solved a lot of problems here, but that's not all we're up to today. Is that correct, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Absolutely. We have one of our favorite bits, and we didn't we repeated it with other guests, but uh, it's it's something that wasn't quite the same as when we did it the first time, which is why we brought with her back. Colleen. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what are you watching, Colleen? <laughs> Colleen. Now, luckily, it's... Uh, Colleen has not seen any of these videos before. So as you remember from the last time we did it, Colleen, uh, your job will be to describe for our audio listeners what you're seeing on the screen. Now, you don't have to describe it while it's going on. We will pause the video. We'll play a few seconds. you got to bring them up to speed as far as what is going on right here. So just bring them up but to I speed. But I don't talk during the video? No, no, no. no, no, no don't no, talk. No, to, no. Uh, yeah, you wait until... Here we go. Here we go. Just watch a bit of this. Come on, film productions. Now, take a grab of the show. The film is going to be a film. It's going to be a film. It's going to be a film. And it's going to be a film. It's going to be a film. It's going to be a film. All right. So what do we got so far, Colleen? Oh, um... There's no way I can say this without sounding absolutely awful. Well, um, <laughs> no, there's, say there's a number say. of um, very handsome um, gentlemen of African descent solving their problems using what appears to be kung fu in front of um, you know a large truck and some sort of um, you know 
building outside and it's, it's sunny good. and um uh i suspect i think that was like portuguese maybe and uh <laughs> so i'm guessing maybe it was brazil but i could be completely wrong all right that's good let's let's listen to a little bit more coming soon action take care sasi coming soon Raymond film production we do the best to stand. Your number one film company in Uganda. You American son of the bitch. All right. So bring us up, bring us up <laughs> to okay. speed. Okay. So I was clearly very wrong about the language. They're in Uganda, <laughs> and uh, coming soon is an action movie. And uh, there's lots of guys running around with uh, machine guns, crappy special effects, and um, <laughs> some sort of uh, motorcycle rape scene. <laughs> oh, okay. Guy gets off the motorcycle and like mauls the other dude. Oh, and definitely a head. And it gets up. And a Honda CRV gets completely mutilated, which makes this worth watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the chat room caught a lie that I could not hear when it actually played, but apparently the guy, when he jumps him, he says, You American son of the bitch. <laughs> In production, we do the best to stand. Your number one film company in Uganda. You American son of the bitch. <laughs> did you say something about Kim Kardashian in there? <laughs> I think he did. Well, All you right, let's hear it at the beginning. Uh, no, so, actually, uh, we are we are being corrected by uh, Fugishi in the chat room who said that uh, you American son of the bench. So uh, <laughs> the bench. <laughs> Okay, so we also have another. Now, you you lived in you lived in Japan for a while, right? Yes, I did. I okay, I, I'm assuming this is Japanese, but you can maybe give us some insight as to this trailer, what we can expect from this video. Just watch a bit and explain to us what we're looking at. Not yet, though. All right, so far, what do we got? What's this movie about? Um, it's this like moody gothic like emo kid that happens to be Japanese and like 40 or something <laughs> uh, speaking very gently into the camera I think about cosplay okay and then uh, some uh, like Japanese girl who's really really happy dressed in, in a fake nurse's outfit runs up and hugs him in a warehouse okay good 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 <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what were you? I hate you so much. What? what? No, I'm, Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Good to hear that, Kali. Explain now, to us what's Kali, going remember, on. remember, this is the audio listeners that need your help. You need to okay, explain so to them what just happened. Two second clip. Um, all of a sudden, that, that nurse. Uh, school schoolgirl age girl becomes a schoolgirl and then she whips out her arms and they're like octopus tentacles and then she runs down a street going like skipping and flailing her tentacles around and uh, yep. and I can't wow <laughs> how, how would you explain her temperament Kali oh she was very happy that's good that's good all right let's let's watch a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. And then um, so the Japanese schoolgirl's raising her hand in class, and she's got, like, this weird snorkel nose and her giant octopus arms, and then she's running down the street really happy, and then she's jogging in, like, a Japanese, um, uh, like, middle school PE outfit with like the little short underwear things on and then she runs down the street and shoves her tentacles uh, down two people's throat consecutive like it goes through the back of one guy's head and down she kills a guy throat. she kills a guy no kills two people like right. in a row yeah. with, like one just one jab like two birds with one with one tentacle <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, what do you got for us, Colleen? Wrap it all up. Uh, she just continues to go about her daily life as your normal Japanese schoolgirl with uh, tentacle arms and um, 
every so often she has like a weird snout thing on her face that she eats cereal out of a bowl with, and she also <laughs> appears to be a rock star occasionally. Yes! All right, uh, Justin, I think she passed the test. I think we got what we uh, I think we can go ahead and give her a... All right, well, we've got our main bit here. We want to talk about a little bit about some of your, your Christmas fantasies, and we want to talk well, about some well, of the well, items. Well, actually, uh, we, have, we have one more thing that we want to do uh, in, in between that, and it's uh, a little Mad Lib, Bri. Well, I mean, well, I, oh, okay, let me just add. Uh, okay, Colleen, we need you to give us some items here. Just Justin's, Jessica's going to run you through these. Just Let's just go fast. Let's get this over with real quick. Okay, uh, uh, Colleen, I, I need you to give me a, a horrible dictator. Uh, Pinochet. Okay. Pinochet, That's... of course, of, of, of Chile. Right. Uh, now, a creative punishment for the WikiLeaks leaker. Oh, um, Pinochet was a fan of dropping people out of helicopters, I believe. Okay, so trap them out of a helicopter. Uh, how about a celebrity who died this year? Oh, this year. Uh, Billy Mays wasn't this year, was he? Um it was last year. Michael Jackson was that this year? No, I think that was like the same era. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, Leslie Nielsen video. just died. Yeah, Leslie there we Nielsen. Go. Uh, now give me a childish insult. Uh, poopy head. <laughs> All right. How about a classic television show? Like a favorite classic television show? Oh, um, Mash. Okay. Now, a favorite actor from a classic, or your favorite actor from that classic television show. I didn't say I liked it. Uh, I don't even know their names. It's the guy from Nova. The narrator from that, Nova. Would that be Alan Alda? Be Al, Alan Alda. That was okay. sci Scientific American, actually. But yeah, same difference. Okay. Yeah, Alan Alda. All right, now give me a farm animal. <laughs> this, where is this going, um, Justin? A what sheep. Is... Okay, now a luxury I... vehicle. A luxury vehicle? Yeah. Lexus. What? A what? southern state. Um, Alabama. Wait, what a malt is... liquor. Um, Steel Reserve. Just, just a, a what? A, a fruit juice. Brian, I'm trying to work. Uh, yeah, but Orange. We're, we're doing a show. You can't. You can't just ask random items for a question in the middle of. Okay, and now a uh, another actor. From Mash, do you, do you, uh, Brian? Can you help her out with another actor from Mash? Uh, yeah, uh, the guy who played Radar, and, and that's the name I want you to put is the guy that put the guy that was Radar. <laughs> okay, the guy who played Radar and uh, household appliance. Uh, dishwasher. What What are you doing, Justin? Brian? We're almost done. We're what? almost done here. Uh, only three more. Uh, give me the first athlete that comes to your mind, Colleen. Uh, Jackie Joyner Kersey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is happening? We were supposed to be doing a now, show. Now, uh, your favorite childhood breakfast cereal? Uh, Kicks. Kicks. And one more, uh, at your, your, uh, a Twit Network personality. Spent a lot of time at the, the Twit company. Just name any Twit Network personality. Uh, Sarah Lane. Okay. Oh, well, that's what? fitting. Well, what was all that? What was that, Justin? Brian, I want to remind you that this episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to publish a high-quality website or blog that outright rejects the actions of Pinochet. <laughs> Squarespace.com has easy-to-use UI for creating and managing a website or blog, optimized for both beginners and CSS experts, hundreds of design templates to choose from, and you can customize any of the designs that fit your needs without having to endure being dropped out of a helicopter. <laughs> All-inclusive service includes seven modules to build your website, a blog module, including an import and export support for WordPress, Blogger, Movable Type, and TypePad, and export means data portability, and protection from the wayward spirit of Leslie Nielsen when he tries to get all up in your business typing poopy head all over and over and over again like it's still funny. There's forums, a forum, a form builder, where you can connect or collect email addresses and other information from your site visitors, even nudie pics from the cast of MASH. Flickr photo <laughs> display, so you can choose a thumbnail or a slideshow view to get a better look at Alan Alda. Really get all up in that. You know what I'm saying, girlfriend? 
Twitter widget where you can display tweets in your website in a customizable, great looking format. Google Maps and more, including permission, access handling, so you can keep your permissions access handled like a sheep driving a Lexus in Alabama sipping on that steel reserve and three week old orange juice. <laughs> Cloud architecture for speed and sight stability and an innovative drag and drop Ajax feature. There's even an iPhone app where you can log into your website and update it on the go. For example, pictures of the guy who played Radar looking all up in a dishwasher if you catch my drift. <laughs> so, Brian, go for his free trial to Squarespace.com. Sign up for a free account. No credit card necessary. Just try out and build your website. And then if you decide to purchase, offer code NSFW and get 10% off the lifetime of your account. That's Squarespace.com. And use NSFW as an offer code. That is, of course, unless you're too busy photoshopping pictures of Jackie Joyner Kersey serving kicks to Sarah Lane. In that case, you should probably go to Jackie Joyner Kersey serving kicks to Sarah Lane dot Squarespace dot com <laughs> and see what this product is all about. How do you spell Jackie Joyner Kersey? J A C K I E J O Y N E R K E R S E E is that or S E Y? Don't quite know. I'm sure somebody <laughs> on Wikipedia can figure it out. J-A-C-K-I-E-J-O-Y-N-E-R-K-E-R-S-E-E, -E -E, according to Autocomplete. Jackie Joyner Kersey uh, doing what? Oh, and what? there's a hyphen. Do, doing what? Jackie Joyner Kersey serving kicks to Sarah Lane. Uh, I'm looking right now. I'm looking for the the champion sounder. Uh, pl just play it for yourself because you, sir, with no, that no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so I think what you meant to say, Justin, <laughs> in the most awesome way possible is that Squarespace is a publishing platform for anything you want to do, whether it's a tiny blog or a big, fat, prime, prime website. Head on over to squarespace.com and sign up for your free two-week no-risk trial. Make sure to use promo code NSFW. Not only will you allow reads like Justin's to continue, but most importantly, you'll be getting 10% off the lifetime of your order. Head on over to squarespace.com and please keep up some business. If you dig idiocies like Justin is able to provide, then please, by all means, make that happen. All right, Justin, speaking of idiocy, what do you got lined up for us next? Brian, people send gifts to each other over the holiday season. God damn it. It happens, <clears throat> right? I like the way you're combative about it. It's just like, <laughs> stop denying it, Brian. People send gifts. Gifts Sorry are given. Sorry your noise. I don't care what you say. Gifts are given and people, gifts are received and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. All right. And? So here's the thing. Have you seen Boing Boing? I think it was today or yesterday. Just put out their gift giving guide. We have a lot of uh, uh, you know people uh, like Tom Merritt and, and Becky Worley on Blurbtastic.com that have their lists of stuff that they've enjoyed over the years. It's a time for you to think about buying something for somebody else, or you want to recommend something for them to uh, to buy you. So uh, we figured we do our own NSFW gift guide. Yeah. Okay. So so that means we recommend what gifts we think people should give, right? No. Well, I mean, no. that's what that's what a gift guide is. You said we're going to do a gift guide, and a gift guide Brilliant. is where you recommend For idiots gifts. and morons and stupid jerks who well, have dumb faces. I, and they I, probably smell. They probably smell like like uncreative hacks. What I mean, I mean, if we're not, you know, doing, what that smells like old whiskey and children's toys. <laughs> Canadian club and children's toys. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. so so with it like hung, like 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 you splash Maker's Mark all over a hungry hungry hippos and rub it all over your face. <laughs> That's what uncreative hacks smell like. I. What the hell are we doing then? Why why can't we just recommend stuff that because that people should buy? What we want to do, Brian, is the other great holiday tradition, which is giving to those in need. So we decided to combine those two beautiful traditions into our better net guide to holiday gifts. See, what, what we did is I had chat room earlier in the show, Bri Bri, uh, pull up on Amazon the worst reviewed and uh, most maligned items on Amazon. So okay. we're gonna we're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna give me like, you uh, a call. A we're we're gonna, gonna put our brains together. Perhaps? Wait, wait, did you just mention my book, Cheats, Cons, Whittles, and Tricks, 57 Ways to Scam a Free Drink? Did you just call that one of the worst reviewed items on Amazon? It may be one of the best. I don't know. I haven't read the reviews. I hate you so much. All right, you go know, ahead. I'll tell you what, Brian. Uh, we're we're going to go in there, and, and Chat Realm is going to help us you know, maybe give a positive spin 
a little a little little PR boost that these things need and just as everybody looks to pull out their credit cards and start swiping it over their computers and buying all sorts of well, nonsense. Well, maybe all right, all right. Maybe this will make sense as we move forward. Why don't you hit us up with the first item? What do you got for us? Okay, Brian, uh, you actually uh, should have a, a, a YouTube video there as well, but this is something uh, it's called the facial flex. I didn't know there was a YouTube video for it. In fact, now that I'm looking at it right now, I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here, and I'm going to paste it in, and we'll watch the YouTube video. But from what I've seen so far, we're talking about this thing, right? Yeah, so here's the facial flex. What you do is you shove it right into your mouth, and you're going to do this. Over and over and over again. It works your cheeks. It works uh, kind of down here, and uh, you're, if you, if you uh, have that, that video... Uh, yeah, no, I do. I do. I'm ready there. to go. Here we go. Let's check it out. To add resistance to working out the muscles in your face, and you're gonna feel it, Karen, from your eye all the way down to your bra line. I mean, it's amazing. I can I sit there and I watch myself in the mirror because it's kind of freaky, and um, <laughs> I can literally see the muscles on my chest. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. 56. I'm not too old to start, right? No, start any age. It's any never age. too old, and it's 86. never too early. Mm -hmm. Okay. So definitely, and and you know what, Karen's starting out her first time. Mm -hmm. Give her an idea of what regimen she should start with. Yes. Two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night. You can do it while you're doing something else. You can watch television, walk the dog, do email. You can do this and do something else at the same time. <laughs> or, Brian, you can go on Amazon and help out the facial flex like we want to do right now. So, uh, so Brian, if you were going to try and give a positive thing, because people are, are they're not really happy with that. The facial flex right, over no, there on I, Amazon. I see where you're going here. So we want to say something nice and give a little bit of the – we're helping the economy, right? We want people to buy these things. So we just want to say something a little bit positive. How about people go to Amazon.com to the link that we just posted in the chat round, and I suggest that you guys say, you don't look entirely like a dumbass using it. See, I don't know. I think we need to go more. I think it's the internet. People love their sci-fi. You can say, it kind of makes you look like the Borg. That's awesome. All right. Colleen, what would you suggest people write? Um, it tightens your mouth sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate and helpful. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of it tightens your mouth sphincter. Uh, here we go. A uh, uh, Diesel says it's Kegels for your mouth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mouth Kegels. That's fantastic. All right. So, the so there we go. So, so we, want, we want people to go. And again, listen, this is not like a lot of our other chat realm death laser uh, you know, tasks where we want everybody to just totally go and, and spam everything because these are tied to your accounts. You, you actually buy stuff on this. It's tied to your credit card. So just make sure that you leave down there. This is this looks great. It's like Kegels for your mouth. Be very positive and five stars only. Very creative. Five stars only. Five stars only. Be creative. You could you could go with it tightens your mouth sphincter. You could go with you look like a Borg, or you could say that you don't entirely look like a dumbass, or a combination of all three, as we like to have here on an SFW. We'll check back with the results here momentarily. Justin, what else do we have to check out? Now this is a, a an item, Brian, that really might have suffered from its naming. You know, it, it's uh, something that is. <laughs> I just read the name of this thing. What the hell were they thinking? This is the worst named object in the history of Amazon. What the hell? Can I, can I read the uh, name of it? Can I can I read the name of it? Please do, Brian. Go mm. ahead. Well, it appears from the link that I clicked on that we are going to see some nice things about. The Los Angeles Police LAPD Whistle Keychain Rape Mugger. <laughs> what? The Rape Mugger. <laughs> Justin, what, what, what do you suggest we say about the LAPD Whistle Keychain Rape Mugger? Well, again, at first glance, you might look at that and think, is this somebody who's employed or was employed by the Los Angeles Police Department who both rapes and mugs? Well, and why says, would no, no. I pay for such a privilege? It says here, Los Angeles Police Department. Hold on, I just switched the picture there. Los Angeles Police Department approved rape and mugger sidewalk companion. So there's that. <laughs> See, and again, even, even when it has more time to explain what it is, it still literally means that it's a companion who rapes and mugs you. <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 it's a companion to your raping and mugging. Oh, okay. <laughs> you blow you can the play whistle. some fine whistle sounds while that goes down. So can can I go first on the this whistles one, whoa, whoa. <laughs> The whistles go woo woo. The whistles go woo. The rapists go woo. <laughs> so that's the first. That's, that's only in the mountain. That's call. That's Colleen's suggestion. <laughs> you should be out making breakfast or something. You should be out making <laughs> breakfast. So that's Colleen's suggestion. Is the rapist goes woo? 
no, 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 Brian, no, no, we can't write that. That's not. No, the rapey goes woo. You're right, right. The, the rapey go woo. No, no, actually, no. I, I think the rapist now. could do that too on this. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say my positive encouragement is to say, this is not only good for raping and whistling. <laughs> it's also good <laughs> if you are a referee at your child's soccer game. Whistle while you work. That's right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> whistle while he works. Dear all rapists, you can whistle while you work with this fine this product. Is, this is terrible. It's the worst idea we've ever had. Okay, so <laughs> it's the, the great thing is now I can't get fired. No. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so so you've got you got the whistle goes woo, no. and and just uh, Justin, what do you got? All right, I I want I want someone to say. I initially thought this was going to rape me. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when it arrived. And just give me some companionship. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> or maybe just, in all caps, won't rape you. <laughs> just Misleading. Let you eat, letting give everybody it, know that that's give it five Fantastic. stars. Does not you give it you. five stars that it's all capped. All caps, misleading title, dash, will not rape you. <laughs> yes, there we go. Remember, folks, we're helping them out. That's we, right. We want them. This is a fine product. It's a vintage uh, whistle that looks like an old-timey policeman's whistle. It just, unfortunately, somewhere along the way, became stigmatized as something that would be involved in a sexual assault. Exactly. Happens okay. to the best of us. Uh, you know what? We already have. It's. We it's already like have our first a podcast night attack. We already have our first comment on the the flex on the mouth flex thing. <laughs> one of one saying? people found the following review helpful. Tighten your mouth speaker sphincter by Jeff Sensei. Use this and the mouth speaker was <laughs> as tight as can be after five minutes of work. But Cuba, it works good. And after using it, I blood back water. Black water. <laughs> Uh, yeah, apparently CL9 customer reviews, because uh, I think we might have some more down there. <laughs> oh, CL9 oh, customer Daniel. reviews. There's a number of customer reviews down here. Holy cow. Well, let's see. We've got uh, resist <laughs> resistance is futile. This is hands down the best way to assimilate to the Borg. Money is irrelevant. <laughs> Exercise is irrelevant. <laughs> is irrelevant. Flab is futile. <laughs> That's good. Not just great for your mouth. Bye, bye, bye. This product is amazing. <laughs> After a recent trip overseas to Cuba, I needed to strengthen some muscles that will not be named. <laughs> I had lost all hope, but Cuba would not bring down my spirits. This product is not just great for your mouth, but for other areas as well. Five stars. <laughs> Brian, can you feel the holiday cheer? <laughs> washing is... over you like a fine cordial. F five stars from Bob Kelly who says, this is an awesome product. It makes you look like a Borg and tightens your mouth sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> After using this, I went and bought black water. <laughs> Put this in your mouth, Victor, by P. Delante. If you regularly present in front of many people, this could get you into shape. In fact, I think of oh so many uses for this fine product beyond its intended use. If only right. it added a wink at the end there. Brian, listen, uh, as we wait for the rape and mugger whistle. Okay, go to, ahead. To, uh, to, to be reviewed, uh, to let's be move on to our next item on the Better Net Guide to Holiday Gifts. Okay, go on. Uh, this is a little uh, trip down memory lane. It's an oldie but a goodie, and so often in this tech so community, uh, we, we leave the classics behind, like, like, like a broken down old running back who never got to enjoy the, the world of free agency. We just leave these pieces of technological marvels to, to rot in the dust. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't you this holiday season get your loved one a copy of of Windows 95. Oh my God! You totally surprised me. Did you? I thought you were messing with me because I saw the item uh, below Windows 95 and I jumped right to that one. But yeah, no. Let's give them Windows 95. Let's say some love for that one right there. Windows 95, unfortunately, has a two-star review right now. We're gonna go ahead and post. And, and really, it was a revolutionary operating system, right? It does not oh, deserve dude, a, a I mean, star it. Dude, it was review. amazing. I was able to play my DOS games in my Windows environment. I was able to. Multitask and whatnot. And, and, and listen, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm as big of a Mac fanboy as possible. Mac sucked then. Windows 95 was, it was it. 
right? Only Dealing positive. Game. Only five I was a Mac games. person at that time. You were or were not? I was. I, oh, wow. I could not afford a Windows 95 computer. Eventually, I, I, I made the transition to Windows 95 and Windows 98. Yeah, you definitely that, defected. I... There are four used copies for only $9.99. Make sure to grab your copy of Windows 95. What should people say about it, Justin? Uh... Was it was it ninety five or ninety eight that used the Rolling Stones? I don't know about you, but I love ninety five. You, you love what? I love the cloud theme. Oh, dude! So the... ethereal. It makes me feel pensive and like I'm going to get work done. Yes. It was cloud computing before cloud computing. <laughs> you know what? Computing. I think we should focus on the clouds on the box. The fact that the box yes. is covered in clouds. It's cloud computing before cloud computing was cool. This is the best cloud OS ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a look at the cover. Uh, you should say, uh, is that Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln punching an alligator in the clouds on the box? <laughs> LOL. Worth the price itself. I don't know why this is one of the pictures of Windows 95, but it appears to be a marshmallow <laughs> man with a photo of a cat in his chest here. <laughs> so we, we've got all of these different photos here, including, what? I have no idea what they're, what they're going for that, for that one. <clears throat> uh, let me just say. I can't wait for Diablo to come out. And don't say Diablo 1, because you got to act like you're from the past and that you want Diablo to come out. Justin, you, you already got your pick? Um, Still a viable upgrade from Windows 7. <laughs> Says the Mac person. Okay, we, we got one more. We, we ready to read the results here. Uh, well, no, we can go back to uh, the, the rape and mugger whistle and, and see the handiwork <laughs> the of our... Uh... I love the fact that when you run it all together, it sounds like it says the rape and mugger whistle. <laughs> like, <laughs> it rapes like, 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 like some sort of bed and breakfast in Vermont. Oh, where'd you stay? Oh, we stayed at the rape and muggers. <laughs> the rape, rape and mugger whistle. Oh, the rape and mugger whistle. Oh, you stayed at the rape and mugger whistle. So right, nice. Let's see. I love let's the scrambled see. eggs. Let's see. The good news is there appears to be a number of customer reviews here. It says here, amazing pos uh, amazing product from Creepy Tom the Whistleblower. Not only for good for raping and whistling, but also good for taking your son to your son's <laughs> soccer game. <laughs> Whistle while you work. <laughs> this, one, this next one is titled, The Whistles Go Woo! <laughs> by Sand Tiger. Uh, this product helped me when somebody climbed in my window. I blew the whistle and someone heard it and came in and saved me. The rapist got away, but we were looking for him. My <laughs> suggestion We're gonna find them. is to hide your kids and hide your wife because there is a rapist out there. I love the fact I love the fact that he actually says because there is a rapist out there. Like proper English all the way across. That was awesome. All right, Justin. <clears throat> you got anything else? Uh well we have our next uh, our next item, <laughs> which I'm worried about. Go ahead, Brian. Maybe you want to give the gift this year of 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 a talent to a friend or family or maybe even yourself. You can treat yourself something that you weren't able to do before. Maybe mastering one of the elements of society that uh, has, has has come to uh to to you know shape our culture. Maybe you need, Brian, a professional's guide to fire eating. <laughs> this had to come from Patrick Dillahanty. This is the kind of thing he would put together. It's it's a professional's guide to fire eating, my book. I'm going to recuse myself. I'm out of this one. You guys decide. Okay, well, horrific... here's, here's the reason why I, I put this down. If you can scroll down, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, maybe some, some mix, a mixed bag of comments. Somebody thought that the Kindle formatting wasn't particularly good. Somebody uh, uh, referred them to a video in which some jerk lights his face on fire uh, after getting instructions on how to eat fire by the author of this book. <laughs> um, so I, I think, uh, Colleen, uh, what, what do you think? What would you say? What's a positive element of what is surely a very mediocre book? <laughs> Screw me. I mean, I think that book. goes without saying. Yeah. What but, do you do? Um, the most interesting point part is the fact that that's not actually fire on the bottom of the cover, but his hair. Ah, there we go. So, uh, uh, fun fact, that's actually the author's completely attention whore hair uh, popping up from the bottom of the black uh, frame. I, I, let me just say, 
uh, freaking the Kindle the Kindle app is what screws up the formatting. The formatting is jacked on this book, but it's not my fault. It's the Kindle importer. It looks great in PDF. You can download the PDF, but it looks terrible on the Kindle. That's not my fault. That's that's their importer. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Sure. Sorry. I remember I thought, when I thought I somebody was accusing uh, themselves. I'm sorry. And I, uh, I'm done. I set I'm up a new live stream and it went to people's computers and their computers just messed it up. And I said, you know what? That's your computer's fault. No, 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 no. I'm saying their yeah. import. What, like what, the... what, 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 would, what would Eric Schmidt say to Colleen if she just told him that? He told she just me said, oh, it. no, don't worry. I made something good. It was just everybody's computers that were. <laughs> you know where she'd be? She'd be on the, on the bus back to Nowheresville. Go, I, right. I'd be out of a job. I'd have to go work for Apple or someone lame like that. Exactly. All right. All right. Fine. What are you going to have people say about the Kindle edition of the. <laughs> <laughs> Of the what, Fry? <laughs> the professional's guide to fire eating. Don't be such a bench. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what. I'll say this. It's upon reading this, no matter the formatting, I probably wouldn't light my face on fire twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and so there we go. So we have Colleen. <clears throat> Unless you have something I'm else to say, we have... Uh, uh, that's actually the author's hair on the I'm cover. I'm trying to think of a good fact. one. I mean, a professional. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know how one can be a professional fire eater without boobs. I, 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 I'm not talking. <laughs> uh, Carl in the chat room says, this book is great. I used it when my house was on fire, and now the fire's gone. But I have a <laughs> massive stomachache. Win! <laughs> okay, look, that's good. Uh, we just got an important tweet from somebody who was not planned to be booked on the show. Somebody uh, apparently named Sarah Lon. Sarah Lon says to everyone. Sarah Lon, Sarah Lon. yes. <laughs> Sarah Lon, to everyone that, who thought I was on NSFW tonight, I thought they'd replaced me, so I went home. So sorry. What's okay. Sarah Halani? S Sarah Halani. That's right, because it's S A R A. Okay. I, I, I tell you what, I really just want to see the comments on our first one. I could read the mouth flexor all I don't know long. what to do with that book. It's such a... A disappointment. A massive, a massive disappointment. disappointment. Exactly. All right, well, well uh, here we go. We have, uh, if you want to, we want to look back at Windows 95, or do we want to move on to our final line? No way, dude. I'm looking only at the mouth flexor, because that's where all the hot <laughs> the action flex? is at. The facial flex. I really thought after receiving this as a gift that it would seem silly, but I was wrong. It's like Kegels for your mouth, and that's a good thing. <laughs> tighten like you've never tightened before. This product is actually stunning. It doesn't make you look foolish, but it does tighten that mouth sphincter like no one's business. <laughs> I get it now. Works, but new unit breaks easily. That was not ours. Oh, really? No. no. <laughs> that's a legit. Oh, because it's not five stars. That's how we know it's not ours. Of course. Obvi. Yeah, obvi. Obvi. Uh, let's uh, see. And there we go. We're up to 12 <laughs> five-star reviews. We're helping out. We're showing some love to the facial flex, right? I think we should probably get a free <laughs> facial flex out of this. Wow. I used to have great big hog jowls before I found this <laughs> product. <laughs> now I have the skinniest face in the trailer park. <laughs> when I smile, the vein on my uh, face sphincter just bulges out. It's like right there. I'm so ripped. <laughs> <laughs> my, mouth, my mouth sphincter was feeling quite loose as of late. Until now, I now have a mouth sphincter like a Borg. <laughs> oh, look at this. We have a mashup here. Yeah, this has been a great exercise to increase my whistling ability in combination with the Los Angeles police whistle keychain mugger. <laughs> I am now uh, able to whistle better than ever before. C -c -c Combo. <laughs> If you want a pretty mouth and a strong throat, this is the product <laughs> for you. And remember, whistle while you work. Uh, all right. All right, just... Brian, it looks like we should move on to our final item on the Better Nets Guide to Giving. Oh, my God. This is, I can't, who suggested this? This is the worst idea ever. Brian, we need to help the needy. Okay. No, we don't no. help. We're not, we're not going over to no. Harry Potter. And saying, oh, buy Harry Potter. Look at us. No, we need to help those who need it. Brian, I'm out. I'm not having anything to do with this one. This is you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nazi dagger. <laughs> German <laughs> Luftwaffe dagger? You want us to give a positive? Can we give a one-star review for no, this, please? Please, 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 please. 
uh, first go down to the, the description and let them describe their product. Because again, like like the, the keychain mugger raper whistle, uh, I think that uh, this one gets kind of a bad rap. You know because, what's worse what than the it? German military? Yeah. Can Not you read? Rape. There we go. Okay. This <laughs> dagger rape? is a okay. mirror of the one designed for naval Nazi officers in 1938, featuring a nine-inch stainless steel double-edged blade with polished silver engraving stretching up to a, lot, to a tang guard. I don't know what that is. The wrapping design featured on the handle is one of the original characteristics and inc includes antique silver-plated blade scabbard, 15 inches overall. Note the firm hold note this firm holds no sympathetic regards towards nazi fascists or any other neo-political parties past or present all merchandise advertised for historical purposes only gotcha so so you want to just throw a a element of history right down the toilet yes Brian? i do is that what you're saying yes i do yes i you do you want to forget throw down the memory so we don't remember next time someone's walking around with that dagger that they're maybe up to no good yes and for some reason your face is frozen which makes it all the more entertaining but now you're back and so the point is i think we should get rid of uh uh all the guys that fought in the punic wars the nazis and gilgamesh the book gilgamesh should all be stricken for the record do me a favor, Brian. Scroll down to the comments and see what people are complaining about. Okay, all right. People are complaining about not only is this not sharp, it simply has no edge. I don't even think it could be sharpened without the use of a heavy-duty machinery. Its sheath is too large for this so-called dagger. Nonetheless, there's an aesthetic appeal for use in cinema or photography, not a weapon. <laughs> So they're complaining this is not an actual Nazi dagger. How about this, this dagger is a piece of shit? No wonder they lost the war. Wow. <laughs> the complaints are no swastika on the dagger. The plain, complaints are no Nazi symbol. Dude, okay, I see where you're headed. You're saying that see? all the complaints are saying that, okay, so, so, so. I say this is a misunderstood dagger. No, just you say okay. You need to give it five stars and say and say thank goodness they finally removed that swastika. That's what I say. What do you say, Here Justin? I'd say not a real dagger because we're not real Nazis. Colleen, um, not a very good weapon. No wonder they lost the war. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> too focused on too focused. The, the <laughs> it's like the Apple computer. Oh, it's, this is the Too Apple computer of daggers. And not enough on function. How about that? This there is the go. Apple computer of daggers is what Colleen it's, just it's, told everyone to write. It, it's the iPad of fascist sidearms. <laughs> All right. Nazi sidearms. There's a difference. Too much for them, not enough function. All right, let me see if anyone wrote anything about Windows 95. I'm going over to the customer reviews right now. There are over 1,000 customer reviews as of this writing, let me see if I can find customer C U S T O M R. I am not finding what I wanted to find as far as the link for that. Where's the link for the customer comments? I got nothing. Nope. Nothing. There's no there's we gave them a link where there's no ability to write a comment on. Wait, with the Windows ninety five one? Yeah, the Windows ninety five has no 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 link. No well, link for customer service. But what? there are that multiple picture of the marshmallow guy. <laughs> there was a, there was a picture of the marshmallow guy, and that's all that really matters. Thank goodness. Uh, well, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to remind everybody, if you are listening on audio, that the videos that Colleen described, as well as links to all the Amazon pages where you can take a look at the fine comments that have been posted in the Better Net Guide to Horrific Holiday Gifts. Uh, it's going to be on the, the BBpedia, right, Brian? Yeah, correct. And actually, we're working on a top-secret new project <clears throat> where you can read all of the important things. Like, Brian Brushwood's hair is the real star of the book. Just look at the cover. I wouldn't personally light my face on fire, but buy this book. Eight equals equals <laughs> equals D. <clears throat> I strongly suggest suggest using this product accompanied by the mouth flexor, my new and approved <laughs> oral sphincter. New and now shoots fire like no one's business. <laughs> Kick -a -combo. Combo breaker. <laughs> this book really needs to be printed on fireproof pages. After reading the first few pages, I ended up setting the book on fire by mistake, and then the couch, and then the house. Now I'm living in a cardboard, <laughs> cardboard box in the streets. I'm afraid to follow the author, author's advice on scamming people at the bar and on the street because I just may end up making things worse. It's a five-star review, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this book might suck, but if you read the whole thing, even with the bad formatting, you won't light yourself on fire a second time. <laughs> Good times! 
All right. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, so there's that. All right, Justin, let's wrap things up here. What do you got to say to the nice people? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to keep the, uh, keep the holiday spirit close in your heart, and we're going to make an NSFW show uh, blurbtastic page where all of the Better Net Guide to uh, Holiday Gifts is going to be there so you can uh, take a look and maybe pick one up for your friends. Indeed. Colleen, you got anything to plug? <clears throat> I, we know that you're having a blast over at Google. You're just rocking, making the sauce over there at the Willy Wonka's magical internet factory, just making all things awesome, right? It, it's amazing. It's awesome, and I couldn't couldn't be happier. I have nothing to plug. I mean, you can see me on Twitter at, uh, at Digital Kitty. And that's all it takes. You can follow me on Twitter at Schwood. That's at S-H-W-O-O-D. Sign up now. This is the last week. I'm shutting it down. I'm going to reject. I'm actually going to block <laughs> anyone who signs up after this week. So this is your last minute to do that. Uh, and uh, Justin R. Young is, uh, is, is my Twitter handle. So uh, just go ahead over there and you can follow not only uh, me, but also uh, all the goings on with uh, Blurptastic and uh, Weird Things, the site the YouTube series, that's youtube.com slash weirdthingstv, or the podcast, get it on iTunes, Weird Things, the podcast. Dot com. <laughs> All right, so that means it's, uh, that is it for this episode of NSFW. Make sure to get our new t-shirt. This is Act Like a Grinch. Be a binge. It's, it's NSFW. I love you guys. Die in a fire. Bring it on,